Matter of fact, in um, you know, ancient China's uh, like where like you know their equivalent of like Washington D.C., like the White House was called the Forbidden City, and you were not allowed into the Forbidden City as a man unless you were a eunuch. That's right. That's just what it was. So many eunuchs actually rose to have extreme power. Yeah. In uh, in a lot of those dynasties. What a lot of Chinese families would do back in the day is because the only way to get into the Forbidden City and really get like an audience with the emperor at that time, if they needed something, if they had like a beef, they would take one of their sons and castrate them and cut their own balls off with a hope that they would one day be allowed into the Forbidden City and get an audience with the emperor and then be able to tell the emperor to do, you know, to, to, to help the family of the castrated boy out. So, and I mean, get revenge on whoever and, wronged them. And get revenge because on whoever wronged them. Because now their eunuch son has power and has the emperor's ear. Yeah. And he tells the emperor, hey, we got to fucking take out this landlord. Yeah. And really it's just the father who castrated his son sent that son into the fucking, uh, to the emperor's house with the hopes that one day that kid would have enough power with his position so close to the emperor to get fucking revenge on whoever wronged that family. Exactly. There is actually a famous eunuch who we will get to who did that, uh, but it ended up he never really, he, it didn't work out. He didn't actually ever get revenge because as soon as he got made it to the uh, to uh, get to the emperor, that fucking emperor passed away and so on and so forth. Yeah, well that, well that, well you just, you didn't have to get to it, you just told the story. I just told the story, yeah, I mean, so it is what it story. is. And, I mean, and you know what? The Chinese names are really fucking hard to remember. I'll be yeah, honest with you. I think I, they should do in history. They should do like they do here. Well, when I they will have, tell you that English it, names. And my, yeah. my name is Steve Lee. Well, I will tell you his name was Wei Chang. <laughs> Zhong and Shang. That's a tough so one to remember. W e i z h o n g x i a n. Give you want to give that a whirl? The real pronunciation. Is there? A, is there? A, if you. Type that into Google Translate. Will they tell us the actual pronunciation if I spell it out? So let me, you give it a shot. You give it a shot, then I'll give it a shot, and we'll see what the actual one is. Okay. okay. So his name, Zach, his first name is W E I, last name Z H O N G. Wei Zhong. No, Z H. I think I just nailed it. Wei Zhong. Z Z H Z H O Z H O N G X. I A N, yeah. Wei Zhong. There we go. Let's see what how you. Yeah. Wei Zhong Zhang. I'm gonna say Wei Zhong Zhang. Wei Zhong Zhang. Where's Des Bishop? I'm gonna say Wei Zhong Zhang. Let's see. How right, to pronounce? He speaks Chinese, right? He yeah, speaks uh, Chinese. Let's see. Pronunciation. How pronounce to pronounce Kiwi? No. What? Yeah, Catalan pronunciation is fine. Wei Zhong Xian. Me wow. Zhong, we, neither one of us were right. Wei Xian. <laughs> Try again. Wei Xian. Wei Xian. Wei Xian. One more. Wei Xian. Wei Xian. Where's the May? There's no M there. Try the try the Chinese Hong Kong pronunciation. All right. Try the Chinese China pronunciation. None of them work except for the Catalan. Yeah, I guess. Wei Zhong Xian. What's the Danish pronunciation? Yeah. Wow. Wei Song Xian. Wow. Wei Song Xian have in Wei Song Xian. Because we may be the first people of all eight billion people on our planet to ever fucking try to uh, get the Danish pronunciation of Wei Zhong Xian. How about the Taiwan? How about the Chi the Taiwanese pronunciation? Can't get it. You know what's wild is Wei Song Xian. <laughs> Do, do they are they aware of how complicated and hard it is to remember those names? A Steve or a Joe is a lot easier than Wei Zhong Jing. Yeah, well, I mean they they change their names a lot. You know? Oh, look at the English pronunciation. Let's oh, try. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wei Zhong Xian. That's I don't know. Wei Zhong Xian. Wei Zhong Xian. Wei Zhong Xian. So I, you, you kind of nailed that one, Wei Zhong Xian. Wei Zhong so anyway, yeah, so that, that was that, that was an unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> we may need to keep that and put that on just out of nowhere as yeah. one of one more of our our plugs. Yeah, Wei yeah. Zhong Wei Zhong Chang. <laughs> that should be in like the opening like montage of yeah. our show. Wei, Wei Zhong Chang. Um, yeah, so unfortunately for that kid, you know, he cut his he cut his piece off. Well, his father cut his, his piece off. His father cut his piece off because his father had beef with his neighbors, and then unfortunately the emperor, after three weeks into his surge, after he woke up, uh, the emperor died. So, yeah. yeah, the new emperor didn't care. So the cat made it all the way to the emperor's side uh, to be his advisor, and then the emperor fucking died. So that kid, uh, he never got revenge for his family. What are you going to do? You know, so you take a chance. Sometimes you swing and you miss. Because yeah. you win some, you lose some. But that's hilarious. That, that That's hilarious that that's how brutal 
history was that a father was like, you know what? To get revenge on this beef I have, I am going to cut my son's balls off in the hopes that maybe he will be picked to be an advisor to the most powerful man in this region. Yeah. What a wild thing. That's not really a good dad. Like, that kid's going to have a lot of issues that therapy will not be able to solve. Yeah, like, my He's going to walk in and be like, I have some issues with my dad. He cut my nuts out. Yeah, well, here's the thing. My dad, I told you, I've told you guys on podcasts before, was a compulsive gambler and still is a compulsive gambler and did, unfortunately, bet $800, which was pretty close to my mom's life savings at the time, on my gender. He bet $800 and paid up to his friends that I was going to have a vagina, and I did, in fact, come out with a dick and balls, but at least my dad did not turn around and cut my balls off immediately to win the bet. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wei Zhong Zhang. Wei Zhong Zhang. You gotta have that ready. That's good. We're gonna have that for future episodes. Yeah. Wei Zhong Zhang. Go make sure you rate, review us, subscribe, uh, turn on your notifications, get jiggy with it. And go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys where things get really wild.